So here is our stream and we are processing about 10 liters per hour. So here we've got a little bit of light fraction. There's another light fraction here. This is a reformer. And here's the temperature. And this temperature actually reflects the temperature of the vapor at the point of condensation. Now, I'll try to explain a bit how to run this system. The system consists of a reforming tower, a few heat exchangers. The heat exchangers got some liquid traps at the bottom to prevent any uh, gases to escape. So to create some kind of positive pressure within the system. Now to start you have to make sure that the water supply is running through all the uh, heat exchangers. So everything is cooled down. The second thing, we've got oil supply and here's a uh, oil flow control valve. It's a needle valve for precise control. So you have to open it up and prime the system a little bit so to make sure there's some oil inside about two three hundred grams so once you supply a little bit of oil into the system switch it on and wait until the temperature rises to approximately 200 220 degrees and then you would notice that you already start to get some oil coming out some production and during this time you can try to increase the flow, uh, open the valve and uh, ease the valve. At the same time, just check the thermometer, what it shows. So the temperature should rise steadily to a certain point. The temperature can start to drop down after a while. This is not because of too much of oil supplied, but sometimes it's because it's not enough oil supplied. This particular outlet that's designed for lighter fractions is also uh, an outlet for the gas that coming out of the system if you'll see some smoking out of this pipe that means your supply not enough so you have to increase the flow but if there is no smoke but and the temperature is still going down that means you're supplying too much so you have to find the equilibrium between too much and not too much